Okay, so let's have a look at question three. Question three shows uh, figure four. Uh, it's a wavefront diagram showing light traveling through air into a glass block. Um, so if you've just done question three, which is the previous one, we looked at a ripple tank. It kind of looks like a ripple tank. In fact, it looks like the side-on view you might have seen of a ripple tank, where you have water on the surface. This is the water. You put in a bit of perspex, and then when you send a ripple in, right, and it gets to the shallower bit, it all squishes up and slows down, and then when it passes, it spreads back out again and speeds up again. In fact, um, this is why refraction happens. So in a ripple tank, that's what it looks like. What will it look like here? So the light ray is coming in this way. It's all spread out. It squishes up close together. The wavelength goes from large to small. But then when it comes back out the other side, it speeds back up again. And this wavelength, when you're drawing it, should be the same as this wavelength here. OK, and that should be all the marks for that question. Figure 5 shows a ray of light incident on a semicircular glass block. Complete the ray diagram. Draw a ray passing through and leaving the glass block. So this is where you need to have brought a ruler. Right. So draw a ray of light passing through and leaving the glass block and label the angle of refraction. Right. Well, if I continue the ray onwards, I might try and use the ruler on this thing. It's a bit difficult. So the ray would do this, changing direction because of uh, change in speed, which is how refraction happens. So if you imagine looking down on a ripple tank, if you have these, that's the direction of the waves coming in, they're coming in like this. right? If these ripples come in, this bit of the ripple goes onto the glass first, where it's shallower and slows down. So what you get is the ripple starts to change direction, in fact, bending towards, bending this way actually, towards the normal line. Right, bit of a bad diagram, but I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that. If you want to know about refraction, I've got plenty of videos on that. So I've continued the ray, passing through and leaving the glass block. I've continued straight here because the ray struck at 90 degrees, which means it won't change direction, it will just carry on straight through. Um, I'm going to draw the normal line on so that I can, so that I can label my angle of refraction refracted angle okay so I think I've got all the points there to get my marks I think I'd probably get a mark for bending the ray towards the normal line showing refraction happening for not bending it here for labeling it and possibly for the normal line as well right next bit Explain why the light ray is refracted. Okay, so refraction happens when a wave changes speed. Speed um, going from one medium to another. The medium just means the thing the uh, ray is traveling through, the the wave is traveling through. So, like right now, my voice is traveling through through air, and that's the medium. So, refraction happens when uh, when when waves change speed, going from one medium to another. Okay, we'll stop. In brackets, only if striking boundary at angle other than 90 degrees <laughs> okay so I've been really extra there gone the extra mile and said the condition where you don't get refraction happening it just carries on straight which is this condition here where you you strike the boundary at 90 degrees right students investigate how different colored light was refracted by glass. The student aims rays of different colored light at the glass block. She measures the angle of refraction for each color. Give two variables that the student should control. Right, let's go back a second look at our diagram. So the idea then is that she's going to fire in one color of light, then another color of light, then another color of light, okay, and each time she wants to get this reading here for this angle. What does she need to do to make this sort of a fair test and keep 
everything the same apart from the colour. She's going to have to keep this angle the same, so she's going to have to keep the angle of incidence the same. Keep angle of incidence the same. Okay, that's definitely true. Now, when I first had a go at this question, which I've had to delete and re-record because I messed it up, I couldn't think of anything to write here, but having looked, they're saying keep the glass the same. Now, I didn't think of putting that because it seemed well, it seemed too obvious, but yeah, you can't change the glass halfway through the experiment for a different type of glass because you want to see how you want to see how the color is is affecting the the angle of refraction, um, not the glass. So you could keep the glass the same. for the second mark. Uh, actually initially I had a go at saying maybe they should aim at the same point. Um, it's not mentioned in the mark scheme and maybe a, a kind examiner would have given me a mark for it but um, okay I'd have probably lost a mark there. So next bit, table one shows the students results. So they've tried all these different colours red, orange, yellow, green, blue. These are the angles they get. Explain why these results could not have been obtained using a normal protractor. Could not well, a normal protractor has divisions on it, and those divisions are about, usually you can only read to the nearest single uh, degree, so you go 90, 91, 92, etc. Maybe you can get a half degree. But basically, the resolution is not um, high enough. Yeah, the, the resolution of a normal protractor is too low. So, you would have had to have used a different method. In fact, what they probably would have done is continued this ray onwards and then they could have measured this length uh, from there to there and known this length as well and used trigonometry and the lengths to calculate the angle, which would have been a probably more accurate way of doing it. Um, okay, what conclusion can be made about the relationship between the wavelength of light and the angle of refraction? How am I supposed to know which one of these is the longer wavelength then? Because they're obviously different different colours of light. Well, if you've learnt about the electromagnetic spectrum, you know it starts with radio waves, radio, and it ends with gamma. Right? And in between, right in the middle, there's visible light. Visible light. Uh, it goes to UV, infrared here, and right in the middle, the, the visible light spectrum goes from red, Roy, G, Richard of York gave Battle in Vain, that's how we remember it. And radio waves are the longest wavelength, getting shorter and shorter and shorter until you get to gamma rays. So radio is the longest, and as you get towards blue, it's getting shorter, so that's the shorter. Okay, so let's have a look. Going from longest to shortest, you go from largest angle of refraction to least. So as wavelength gets shorter, as lambda, I should start with the capital really, as lambda gets shorter, refraction angle increases. Right. Okay, my handwriting's terrible, so you just have to listen to what I'm saying. Glass does not transmit UV radiation, so just what happens to ultraviolet radiation when it is incident on glass. Okay. If it's not transmitted, which means it doesn't allow it to travel through it, if I don't, tra uh, yeah, so it's, it doesn't allow it to tra travel through it, then it can only have been reflected or absorbed. So not knowing which, it's just guess one reflected. Okay, I don't know specifically for this type of glass, whatever, right? But it's sensible to put that down as an option. So let's have a quick peek at the mark scheme and see how we did. Right, so. This looks correct. Um, we can. I've checked all this before, and this one was fine. Light travels more slowly in glass than in air, so it changes direction. That's fine. Angle of incidence, type of glass used. Yes, well, that's the one I wasn't sure about. The resolution of a normal projector is too big. Did I put too small? Mm. The resolution is too low. Which should be really too big, my mistake, and it should be big like that. Okay, right. Well, either way, I think that we've successfully solved this problem. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.